Hi, my name is David Wildman with Guitar Control, and today's idea is in G minor pentatonic. It's kind of inspired by Eric Johnson. It's got this vibe to it, and you're using some legato. You can play it slow, you can play it fast. It's going to sound good on any, any kind of rock flavored solo. I'm going to show you exactly how it's done. We're in G minor pentatonic, first position. Here it is. This idea is going to be played in a G minor pentatonic scale in its first position between frets three and six. Here's a quick reminder from the low E string to the high E string. We have frets three, six, three, five, three, five, three, five, three, six, and three, six. And this is a simple idea once you have it down that you can easily reproduce and expand on. And I love this idea. It has some flashy, faster playing, and it's fairly easy to get. We're going to use a lot of pull-offs. So a pull-off is starting on a higher note and um, releasing to a lower note. And for that, there's only one strike of the pick. So if I am pulling off from the first string, sixth fret, to the first string, third fret, I'm going to play that first sixth fret, and then pull off by lifting my finger, in this case the pinky, so that the third fret is being heard. But instead of just lifting my pinky like this, which really doesn't produce the same volume for both pitches, I'm going to pluck that string with the pinky. So the pinky is not just releasing high, but it's actually plucking that string, almost as if the pinky was acting like a pick. That way, both pitches have the same volume. And that's what I'll use for those pull-offs. Let me show you the first five notes, and then we're going to repeat that over and over. I'm going to start by playing the, um, the first string, fret six, pull off to three. Second string, same exact thing. I'm playing the right note, pulling off to the left. And then I'll play the third string, right note, which is the fifth fret. That's it. So I'm only attacking three times here. Attacking the first string, pull off, second string, pull off, and third string. I'm just playing a single note there on the right side, the fifth fret. Rhythmically, there is a twist though. I'm gonna consider 16th triplet, which is so six notes per beat. So one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. The first two of these notes are gonna be tied together. So instead of one, two, three, four, five, six, one, that's what I'll have. And that's what I want you to count. So that first note is two sixteenth triplets tied together. So it should be something like this. So I'm just repeating that idea over and over. I want you to get used to that. So you get the rhythm right, and then gradually increase that. Once you have that down, repeat the same exact idea, this time starting on the second string. And then the third. Fourth. And we're going to land on the fifth string, fifth fret. One, two, three, four. And we can increase that once you're comfortable. Eventually, it'll sound faster and flashier, and it's really not that complex. I'll play a little faster for you, and pay attention to just the, the attack on the right hand. I'm not attacking every single note, because that'll be a lot of movements. There's really not that much movements on the right side. Here's that lick. Thanks so much for watching today's video. I hope you liked it. If it inspired you to create something new, then my mission is accomplished. Like this video, share it around, subscribe to Guitar Control's channel, and check out guitarcontrol.com for more videos, lessons, and all that good stuff. There's a big community on there. You've got to check it out. Thanks so much for watching this. I will see you next time. And until then, practice well.